is uh, for the Honorable Mayor, uh, Divine of the uh, City of Glendale, uh, Council Member Rodman of uh, the City of Glendale also, Ms. Uh, Joe Solomonson, the uh, President of uh, the Feybag uh, in Glendale, Philippine American Business Association of Glendale, and of course the uh, all women members of the board of uh, the group, Women Power, you can see that, yeah? The uh, leaders and members of the Filipino-American community who are here with us tonight, distinguished guests, mga kababayan, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Kamusta po kayo? I'm just pretty good. to be here with you tonight. It's my first time to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to make an appearance here in Glendale before the Filipino-American community. And I'm just so happy that I'm here. I was hoping to be able to sing, but uh, if you will not allow me, then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm deeply honored, really, to be uh, with you tonight uh, as we celebrate uh, both the 30th anniversary, I think, of uh, Feedback, 32nd anniversary, and also the Filipino-American History Month uh, this October. We are just so privilege that the U.S. government uh, decided to issue a proclamation recognizing the month of October as the Filipino American History Month. Now this uh, event of course pays tribute to the uh, well-documented arrival of the first Filipinos in the United States in 1587. 1587. In other words, the arrival of the Filipinos in America dates back really to a long, long time. The first Filipinos didn't arrive only with the nurses here in California. We have been here for so long contributing to the economic development and socio-cultural diversity of this country. And retelling the story of the Filipino-American migration to the U.S. this time acquires deeper significance because of two important events or developments in society. We have, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic. And the other one is the rising incidence of hate crimes in America. We all know what happened because of the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, we are still in the process of recovering from this pandemic. And we all know that at the height of the pandemic, many of the Filipino-American health workers were in the front lines, and many of them paid the ultimate price in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. But Filipino-American workers cannot just be found in the medical field. They cannot just be found in the health, in the health profession. They can be found everywhere in the mainstream American society. They are in the arts. They are in the field of engineering. They are in the cuisine. They are everywhere. So the American Filipino Americans become so adaptable. The American soil really has proven to be so conducive for him to achieve his own version of the American thing. But the Filipino migrant here in America did not just come here to chase the American dream. He also came here to contribute in the process to the greatness of this country. And I relate this to the rising incidence of hate crimes. So we see how much the Filipino American have been contributing, has been contributing to the greatness of this country called America. And so instead of hating the Filipino or another Asian Pacific Islander community mem 